I'm Chris with Buckeye Concealment and Training. Let's talk about the differences between double action and single action revolvers. The most obvious difference is right in the name, the action type. So here I have my Ruger GP100 chambered in 357 mag. This is a double action revolver. So let's check the state of the firearm. And I have this loaded with snap caps to illustrate loading and unloading. So double action, when I pull the trigger, it's going to both cock the hammer and release it. But most double action revolvers, unless labeled as double action only, can also be fired in single action mode. And as you can see, that also brings the trigger back significantly, giving you a lighter, crisper trigger pull. It's far easier to shoot accurately in single action mode. So the other big difference between double and single action is the loading and unloading uh, technique. So I've got the cylinder release right here. So by pressing that and rotating the cylinder out, I have access to all of the chambers at the same time. And the ejection rod right here will unload all chambers at the same time. So that helps with your loading and unloading speed. You can also get speed loaders for double action revolvers that will hold, you know, six, seven, eight rounds, whatever its capacity is, all at once pop that sucker in there, uh, turn it, press a button or whatever, and then you're loaded up again, good to go. Um, so that is in contrast to a single action revolver. And I have here my Ruger Wrangler in 22 LR. Let's check the state of this guy. And we are also loaded up with snap caps on this one. So good to go. All right, so single action revolver the trigger is performing a single action. That's dropping the hammer. So when the firearm's in this state with the hammer down, pulling the trigger isn't really gonna do anything. So if I cock the hammer, then I can pull the trigger. I would not recommend doing that with a rim fire gun unless you've got it loaded with snap caps as I do here. So the unloading and loading technique for a single action is facilitated by the loading gate. That would be this right here. So by pulling that open, let me just pull that open with my finger, then I can use the ejection rod, which is located usually somewhere near the muzzle on a single action, and I can push that round out. But I have to rotate between each cylinder to fully unload the gun. So obviously that takes a little more time. Uh, in times like they are right now, with the price of ammunition, Having a single action will let you kind of savor your time on the range a little bit more, but uh, you know, obviously it is inherently quite a bit slower. So those are the main differences between double and single action. I will say that typically uh, you'll also see a difference in price. Um, these are different calibers, so there's obviously a huge discrepancy in price just based on that, but also be because of the action uh, mechanism. So double action um, is inherently a little bit more complicated. So you'll see a difference in price point there. Thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to comment, like, uh, subscribe. Uh, I have a website, Buckeye Concealment and Training, that I will put down in the uh, description below. Uh, I'm a firearms instructor in Northeast Ohio. So feel free to come see me. I run a class once a month. If you're interested in getting a CCW permit or a concealed pistol license, Ohio refers to it as a concealed pistol license, but most people know it as a CCW permit. Or if you're just interested in getting a little bit more comfortable and familiar with how to accurately and safely utilize a pistol, whether it be a revolver like one of these or a semi-auto. Thanks for watching. Take care.